What's up guys, today I'm gonna teach you guys how you can create this sick seamless match cut effect in Premiere Pro, let's go. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today we're gonna to be teaching you guys how you can create this sick, seamless match cut effect in Premiere Pro and only using a few simple photos. Now this tutorial has a practical in-field aspect and also a post-editing aspect. So you really have to get your camera ready and get ready to shoot some stuff because you can't just create this effect with any ordinary footage. Before we hop into the tutorial, I just wanna mention really quickly, this effect works absolutely insane when you have a bunch of dope, sick camera movement. Now the camera movement portion, I'm not gonna be including how to do this in this tutorial, but I also wanted to mention that we do have a camera shake it up preset pack at our store at 11percent.net it comes with a bunch of effects and transitions that you can literally just drag and drop onto adjustment layers and it creates some dope artificial camera shakes and it's seriously just tied in with this effect and just enhanced the overall look and best yet you can save this preset and use it for any other future projects you want it really just helps speed up my editing workflow saves me a bunch of time seriously a great investment for any video editor so if you're interested definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial All right guys, so for step one, you're gonna have to take your camera and you're gonna have to go out and find a bunch of different objects that are in the same shape. Whether you wanna focus on a circle, a square, a triangle, just make sure that all the objects are in a similar looking shape. In my case scenario, I chose a bunch of objects that look like circles and I just got my camera, took a bunch of pictures. Now make sure to get a camera that has a really high resolution image quality because you're gonna be zooming in a lot and we definitely don't wanna lose any quality when in the process. I recommend taking around seven to eight pictures as some of them will work and some of them won't work, so just might as will have some good backups. And once you're ready and you have your pictures, you're now ready to go hop inside of Premiere Pro. Let's go. All right guys, so now that we're inside of Premiere Pro, after you got inside, shot all of your subjects with the same similar object, in our case scenario, we chose a circle. You're gonna go ahead and import all those photos inside of Premiere Pro. And then what we're gonna do is we're just simply gonna hold shift and just drag them all into our project. Now, right here, you can see I have this little sound effect, which you're gonna be using later, which I will link below in the description. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna take this next clip, I'm gonna drag it over the first clip, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to decrease the opacity to something around 50%. I'm gonna right click that opacity and copy it just for future use so it saves us some time. And now what I like to do is, you know, first scale up the first image to something, you know, an image that you would like everything to match cut to, to the proper circle size. And then what you're gonna do is you're simply just going to line it up. Now it's important that you take these really high quality images. I shot this on my Sony DSLR so that that way we have a lot of room and pixels to zoom in and we don't lose any quality. So as you can see, I just lined up that first one. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to drag that first image back and then I'm going to drag the next image below it and then that way we're just going to go ahead and line up the bottom image with our first image so we're always going to be matching the circle images with the images before it so that way it keeps the same circle position throughout the entire video and then once we're done with that clip what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit command V and paste the opacity to the next clip so that way we can just drag the next clip below it and then go ahead and match that next clip under it as well and then you can see how the process is going and basically just matching up all the clips so you can see right here in this shot right here we kind of messed up because the circle size right here is kind of a little bit too small which means in this clip right here the photo is actually going to be out of frame so you can see we have that black edge right there but don't worry we're going to be nesting this all together and we're going to be zooming in so one thing to note is make sure you scale up your circle image your main circle image that you're tracking throughout the entire effect pretty big so that you don't have any edging issues like this and then I'm just going to simply repeat the process so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up of the video And boom, voila, once you're done with matching up all the circles in your footage, you can see if we drag along our timeline, you can see we kind of have a nice base effect going on right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and obviously bring up all the opacity again to 100%. So I'm just gonna copy this opacity from the first initial frame and then just select these and then Command V to paste it. And now you can see we have a nice looking circle match effect. All right guys, so now once the opacity is set to 100 and everything is back to normal, um, what we're going to do is we are going to select all these clips right here and we are going to right click it and we are going to hit speed duration right here, speed duration. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the speed duration from whatever the original um, setting is. It's like, it's like four seconds. I'm going to change this and set this to something like, like 0.5, half of a second. And then you're going to see it just made all these clips like really short in length. And what I'm going to do, since I'm still selecting all these, I'm going to hit sequence and I'm going to hit close gap. And now you can see if we play this out, 
voila, we have a nice flashing effect between all of our clips right here. So now once your clips are all really short in length and they're all lined up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this and we're going to right click it and we are simply going to nest it. So I'm gonna hit nest and you can just name it whatever you want. Match, cut. Okay, boom. Now what we're gonna do is it's time to zoom in. So I'm just gonna scale in a bunch already just so that there are no black edges around any frame. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start off with the first keyframe and I'm gonna hit scale and I'm just going to go to the very end keyframe and zoom in just a little bit. So that way we have some nice zoom in effect as the match cut goes on. And now one last effect I like to do just to spice things up, make it look even cooler is I'm gonna go to my effects and presets and I'm going to search for directional blur. So this directional blur, I'm gonna drag it to my nested clip. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to increase the blur length to something like 45 and then I'm gonna set the direction to 90 degrees. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create an ellipse mask and I'm going to make sure that this ellipse mask is solely around our circular subject or honestly, whatever subject you created because remember, you can do it with a square, you can do it with triangles, you know, just any shape that is similar in size. And then I'm just going to increase the feather like a bunch to 225. And then most importantly, the most important step is make sure you click on the invert tab right there and boom, voila, now we have some nice motion blur around the rest of the frames as they, as they just speed by each other. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go ahead and hit a keyframe on the blur length right here. And I'm gonna set this blur length 45 degree keyframe towards the end. And then I'm going to set it to zero at the very beginning. And I'm gonna drag that zero keyframe to the very beginning. So that way when the effect starts off, you can see some motion blur starts to increase as the, the effect zooms in. And one last thing that I always like to do to speed it up is I like to add this sound effect right here. It's just like a really quick, nice cinematic buildup effect that just really spices up the effect. Now remember, you can take as many pictures as you want. I recommend keeping it below like five or six, and then you can just go ahead and repeat these pictures for as long as you need this match cut effect to go for. Duplicate the same pictures, and trust me, because the effect is so fast, nobody will notice. And with that, guys, here is the final result. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any help or value from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free. All this content is free. So really, it means the world to me. And once again, if you're interested in copying the Shake It Up camera preset pack, definitely make sure to check out 11%.net. We have a bunch of other crazy preset packs there. They're all super easy to use. And best yet, we aim to keep our prices below the average market competition. So you're not only getting high quality presets, but the best price and you're saving a bunch of time while editing. Seriously, guys, one of the best investments in any video can ever make. And one last thing I'd like to mention, if you guys are interested in getting some extra value or some extra help from this channel, you can join our membership link below. There I teach my students the more practical side of video editing, such as how to better network, how to get more clients, and how to make more money as a video editor, because this is what you want to do. This is what you love. So might as well make a career off of it. We have a bunch of low cost monthly membership tiers because we're teaching you guys how to make money off your video editing skills. It seriously all pays off. Once again, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching this video. If you had any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.